has a Marxist background, a Marxist worldview, and he's not going to make things better in our country, he's going to make things worse. He's going to destroy this country. I never said that we should try to go ahead and get single payer. I happen to be a proponent of a single payer universal health care plan. And I'm all for a single payer system. This is an administration hell bent on taking America towards a socialist country. Imposing statism or socialism on a people has been by way of medicine. It will give government more power and control than they could possibly ever imagine. This is some wild-eyed plot to impose huge government in every aspect of our lives. This is the crown jewel of socialism, this bill. Where, where specifically does the, uh, the Constitution grant Congress the authority to enact an individual health insurance mandate? Uh, are you serious? Are you serious? Yes, 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 yes. Now tell me how, how we're going to fix our health care system with 1,990 pages uh, of bureaucracy. The reforms we seek would bring greater competition, choice, savings, and inefficiencies to our health care system. We don't know what's going to be in the bill. Uh, the chairman has a good idea what's going to be in the bill. I cannot certify that uh, members of the Senate will understand um, what uh, what they're reading, that, 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 that presumes a certain level of, um, of, of perception on my part and understanding and delving into the minds of senators that not only do they read, <laughs> that they've taken the time to, to understand. I, I, I love these members that get up and say, read the bill. What good is reading the bill if it's a thousand pages and, and you don't have uh, two days and two lawyers to find out what it means after you read the bill. Are you, are you going to support taxing health care benefits? Everything is on the table. You're not going to have anybody getting in between you and your doctor. And I think that some of the provisions that got snuck in uh, might have violated that pledge. The government is issuing new mammogram guidelines that say women should wait until they are 50 years old to get their first breast cancer screening. We're going to lose women from breast cancer. They will die as a result of that. Welcome to Death Panel! We plan to set up panels of bureaucrats with the power to kill off senior citizens. It was horrible. I got a letter in the mail that basically said, if you want to take the pills, we will help you get them from a doctor and we will stand there and watch you die. The current bills mandate coverage for abortion and virtually all the health plans. And uh, broadcasting those negotiations on C-SPAN. You stood up before the American people multiple times and said you would broadcast the health care debates on C-SPAN. You didn't. Yeah, your husband's a stinking liar. We're going to run him out of office. No longer can we allow special interests and lawmakers to conspire behind closed doors. We need transparency. We've not had legislation like it's been so transparent in recent history. Transparency and disclosure. We've got to have the process be open, transparent. You can't see it, but it's happening behind closed doors. Dodd and Bacchus and Reed are behind closed doors. Any big agreement is progress, even if we don't know any of the details. Even if we do not know any of the details. What? Well, look who's here to push your husband's socialist health care agenda. As you can see right there, the fellow in the foreground, he didn't bring a lab coat. And so, as you can see, a very helpful person from the White House, because it was all about the photo optics, gave him one. The a AARP would not be endorsing a bill if it was undermining Medicare. We have not endorsed any specific piece of legislation right now. but we I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. You know what? I make a lot more money if I take this kid's tonsils out. But if that same diabetic ends up getting their foot amputated, that's thirty thousand, forty, fifty thousand dollars immediately the surgeon is reimbursed. One man from Illinois lost his coverage in the middle of chemotherapy because his insurer found that he hadn't reported gallstones that he didn't even know about. They delayed his treatment and he died because of it. The Wall Street Journal reports Otto Raditz did not die because of delay. And your health insurance company goes back and pulls out your application for health insurance and says, oh, you forgot to tell us that you had headaches when you were a teenager or acne. Medicaid is broke. Medicare is broke. 
I think they're astroturf. Uh, oh, you be the judge of carrying swastikas and symbols like that to a, a town meeting on health care. I'm not even sure I want to give my name because I'm afraid that a fishy email will go to the White House, and that's the truth. Oh, I think we all have something to lose, Matt, if we let cable television come to town hall meetings. Argue with them and get in their face and... He was like, uh, what kind of in are you? Healthcare rally turning downright hostile as a man has his finger bitten off. Blood on the street. And Don, why did you come here today in front of Chuck Schumer's office? Because I'm tired of the government telling me what to do. Always sneeze or cough into the bend of your arm. <coughs> I'm sorry. Bless you. I, I, could, I was fighting that off for a while. That's all right. Uh, and a possible impediment <laughs> to getting a deal. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I mean, what is that about? about? I can pledge to you that no earmark or any of that, any description you want to make of it, uh, will be in the bill that passes the House. We are not here to heap mountains of debt on our children and our grandchildren. And one more. Do you think it's fair to send people to jail for not buying health insurance? Uh, I think the legislation is very fair in this respect. The fact of the matter is, and I know people don't believe this, but, um, but I can't be bought. Look, if this health care bill was right, would you need a hundred million dollar bribe? Oh, I'm not a one hundred million dollar fix, it's a three hundred million dollar fix. One of my jobs as the president will be to guide this process so that it's an honest process. It's my duty and pride tonight to be able to announce exactly what the Republicans plan to do for health care in America. The Republican health care plan is this. Die quickly. That's right. The Republicans want you to die quickly if you get sick. And 80 percent of us recognize the anti-constitutionality of this health care and almost everything else this White House is ramming through without legislation. This is anarchy! It's anarchy! Don't take it away from me. Why are you, you act like we don't get this. It's just this whole thing is disingenuous. They already know what they're going to do. They're going to pass it through reconciliation and know we're going to be stuck with this. And he's going to get political gain on the backs of us Americans. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! Oh, no. Not again.